um, myself and the delegation here today. Um, we're representing the Consul General, John Bray. Um, unfortunately, he could not make it this morning, but he'd like to send his regards to his friends, um, uh, Mr. Remy Apo, and also to the entire Cybersecurity Experts Association here in Nigeria. Um, he wanted to ensure that we're fully represented this morning, so he invited myself. My name is Vincent Carpenter. I'm the Regional Security Officer at the uh, U.S. Consulate. Also, uh, Special Agent, Mr. Roland over here, please raise your hand. He's, our, uh, he's a special agent with the, uh, the FBI. He, uh, he's a subject matter secure cyber uh, crimes within the uh, U.S. federal penal system. So uh, he's a subject matter expert when it comes to law enforcement effort, efforts within the uh, U.S. and cyber, uh, cyber crimes. Okay. Okay. We also have Mr. Mike Gattock. He's our information uh, security officer within the consulate. He's tasked with uh, securing our own internal network within the, uh, the consulate. So again, <laughs> fully represented today uh, during the event. So this is, uh, this is who he brought. The original security officer, our, uh, our cyber investigator, and also our uh, information security officer. Thank you very much for having us today. Thank you. Convinced that there's an urgent need for a greater security within the, uh, the online world. Uh, without you know, raising your hand, standing up, or spinning around, I believe most of us are uh, very familiar with a large number of high-profile cyber events that occurred in 2017, uh, including the, goal, the global uh, WannaCry ransomware. You heard about that? WannaCry ransomware. Uh, the attacks that occurred last uh, last May, and uh, with this that attack alone affected over 200,000 computers. Imagine that: 200,000 computers in over 150 countries worldwide, 150 countries. And uh, just shortly after that, September of 2017, a cyber attack on a U.S. Consumer, uh, consumer Credit Reporting Agency, Equifax, we heard about that as well. Um, the personal information of nearly half of the U.S. population was compromised during this attack. So imagine the population of the U.S., about 360 million people. So 180 million people, roughly the size of Nigeria. Every, every person in Nigeria personal information was compromised in this attack. It shows you the breadth of the, uh, the attacks. Um, it also shows you um, the influence they can have within our own world. I know shortly after the, uh, the Equifax attack, Mike, our uh, ISO, Information Security Officer, he said two of his, his credit cards were compromised and, and used in Europe. And somebody ran up unauthorized charges of over thousands of dollars. This was shortly after the attack. So this directly influences if, if not you, somebody within your media circle. Um, uh, again, this is an example of devastation of a single, a single cyber attack can cause. Unfortunately, the number of cyber attacks uh, worldwide, they're continuing to rise despite a constant flow of security updates and uh, security patches. In the same vein, the cost of these attacks are increasing as well. Not just the sheer quality, but the cost. I believe uh, Cyber Security Ventures predicted the cost of global uh, cyber crime damage will uh, hit about six trillion dollars, six trillion dollars by 2011. That's substantial, not, not a million, six trillion dollars globally. And cybercrime will become more profitable than the, globe tra the global trade and all major illegal drugs in the entire world. Cybercrimes alone. Uh, in addition, I think we're all, we're hearing the term uh, Internet of Things, commonly known as IoT. I think that's the, the hottest way bad within the, uh, the cyber world. And, uh, and it's the growth of the digital movement. And as the world embraces IoT, uh, big cloud, or excuse me, big data, cloud, mobility, security must, must be more than an afterthought. Uh, however, things change quickly in the realm of uh, cybersecurity. Uh, when threats increase, they appear on a daily basis. Um, the, their hackers are continually refining their techniques, and it can be extremely difficult to, uh, to keep up. Uh, Nevertheless, we cannot afford to play catch-up to, uh, to, to cyber crimes. Business and government agencies need to evolve in order to cope with ever-changing uh, threat landscape. Organizations can no longer merely react to threats. We need to create an IT structure, infrastructure that is agile and very adaptive, where breaches are addressed before they happen. As security professionals in a security industry and a security world, we will have to change as well. Cybersecurity must be more of an, a business enabler, enabler of lifestyles, enabler of uh, healthcare, and of a uh, better society. And 
The U.S. is uh, convinced that enhanced international cooperation and information sharing will be critical to successfully mitigating cyber attacks going forward. And we also believe continued cooperation between public and private sectors is pivotal, uh, pivotal to effectively managing cybersecurity risk. As uh, private sectors work uh, to make information technology more secure by providing defenses to new threats, uh, governments need to incentivize cyber protection. For example, by disseminating uh, new cybersecurity standards, sharing best practices, protecting critical infrastructure, and enforcing, enforcing the rule of law within uh, cyberspace. I have no doubt that today, during the workshops, breakout sessions in this year's edition of uh, Cyber Secure Nigeria, we will fully explore these issues and further prepare Nigeria's uh, cybersecurity industry for the evolving challenges within the cyber world. In conclusion, as uh, some of my colleagues stated, Saharian, he focused on Stop, Think, Connect. Stop, Think, Connect. That's a global public awareness campaign. In the U.S., this is spearheaded by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, and it's the uh, DHS's ongoing cyber awareness campaign. Again, Stop, Think, Connect. By joining Stop, Think, Connect, you will have connections to partners and subject matter experts who are committed to increasing online safety, cybersecurity tips, messaging, articles, and presentations. Uh, monthly discussions highlighting current cyber uh, issues and trends. So this is a valuable resource us as professionals within the cybersecurity work, uh, world can uh, draw on. Um, again, I encourage everybody, everybody to be active members within this campaign. Stop, think, connect. And before we get too tired again and try to listen to me speak, I'd like to thank everybody for the time and having our delegation here. And uh, thank you for uh, being supporters of uh, IT security, information security. Thank you.